Everyone has dreams. We dream for peace. We dream for a world free of the pandemic. We dream of a world of health, a world of financial success. So many things that we dream of. And then we have other dreams in life. Sometimes we don't understand them. Sometimes they're silly. Sometimes they're disturbing. Sometimes we share our dreams, but very often we choose to keep them to ourselves. Yosef has a dream in this week's Parsha, and he shares it. And the result of this dream was that the brothers weren't happy with him. The Torah tells us that they had already had a sense of animus for him. His father gave them a Ksonis Pasim, this beautiful, finely woven tunic, multicolored. And now they, he has a dream, and the essence of the dream is that he is going to be an overlord, he is going to be their master, and the Torah tells us, Vayasifu Oats no Oso. And one might think that after that experience, Yosef would understand that if he has such dreams, he shouldn't share them, he should keep them to himself. But it's not what happens. The Torah tells us, Vayachalom Oat Cholom he has another dream, and he tells the dream to his brothers. And again, it's a dream which in essence speaks of how he will be the king, he will be the master, and they will be the servants, and they will bow down to him. And the Torah tells us that not only did they hate him, but they were jealous of him. And you have to wonder a little bit after the experience with the first dream. Didn't Yosef understand that maybe it's not such a good idea if he has such dreams to share them? What's going on over here? Yosef was a smart man. So often in life, we don't know where to stop. So often in life we're passionate about an issue and we want to share our convictions with others and the result is that the more we push, the more we create a sense of enmity. People are passionate about their political opinions. People are passionate about how the world should be run. And yes, it's good to address issues but all too often, when people push their point, all they end up doing is creating more anger, more animosity. So why do people do it? It's because people think that they're gonna convince the other side. Yosef was of the opinion that if the brothers hear that in addition to the dream about the stocks of wheat, that there's also the dream of the stars bowing down to him, that they'll see that these are true dreams, that these are things that are going to happen, that it's godly ordained. And maybe Yosef felt that strongly intuitively. But Yosef should have recognized that from the vantage point of his brothers, they weren't going to be convinced. This was a grave mistake on the part of Yosef. And yes, it plays a role, unfortunately, in the sale of Yosef by the brothers. And obviously, it all worked out wonderfully in the end. But look what a sense of anger, of animus, of hatred it created. And it teaches us, I think, how important it is that even when you feel strongly about an issue, even when you know you're 100% right, you have to think really hard, really hard, 
as to whether you should try to push the point or whether you should just let it go. Hanukkah was a time where the Hashemunayim faced a lot of opposition internally. And they pushed the point and they were successful. And it was to their credit they re- that they recognized that they needed to take the extreme measures that they took, that they needed to go to war, even though there were many in the Jewish people who were pacifists. And it's not always easy to figure out in every circumstance, should I push forward or should I hold back? And that's why it's so important in life to have mentors, to have guides, to have family and friends who you can turn to, to advise you about such issues, who can look at things maybe a little bit more objectively than you can. And I think that as the pandemic rages on, invariably, not everyone is going to see everything in the same way. And everyone needs to act responsibly and safely and you've heard me from this space push very hard that people should make sure that they're following the proper guidelines, social distancing, masks, etc. But that there are fine points that people can argue about. How far should we go? And it's important to respect that not everyone is going to share the same opinion about all issues. And we should respect the rights of people to have their opinions, but at the same time, uh, we should be careful to do the things that we believe and we know to be right. Hopefully, we can learn how to have respect and patience and tolerance. And hopefully, in that merit, We can create a sense of unity, one which will bring us together and we will be able to see the inner light of Hanukkah, the light which breeds unity, which brings achtos, and which will ultimately bring the ge'ula, may it come, and her amen.